guys, it's me, Louisa, and today I am going to be doing an awesome video. And as you can see, I have makeup on my head, so I can't that well, I can't like it. And this video will be cool with it. So, um, I'm in a different room. I just wanted to show, like, my sister's room, but that you all you can see is the light. <laughs> so, I'm going to back in the light. So, what I wanted to do today is a quick, easy, simple baking video. Um, basically we're going to be using, I remember that we have a, um, we have a, um, a box kit, um, and we're, it's really simple, it's a chocolate cake, that's what we're going to so now we can have it, and I remember it's in the cupboard, so I can use that to make something, because it is for all of us, so I thought it'd be good, good to make that, and then I have to make some cupcakes tomorrow, for my school, for my class, for when I go in, for my birthday, so, I don't usually use box kits, I always make them from scratch, but because I have it in, I thought to be, it would be easier if I did that on camera and it wouldn't be, the, it, it, the video wouldn't be that long. So, we're going to go in the kitchen and most of it will have a voiceover, it might actually just be spelled off with the voiceover, just because, yeah it will, because people will probably come in and out and stuff, so yeah, I really hope you guys like this video, and um, yeah, so I really hope you do like this video. Some things you'll need in this baking process is your box of cakes. It can be, uh, you can actually make this from scratch. I'm using a gluten-free chocolate cake mix, so, or if you want to make just regular, you can just get a chocolate cake. So you'll need that, and it shows you all of the instructions in the back. You'll need that, and you'll need 40 millimeters of water. I have it measured out here. You also need a big mixing bowl. Um, you'll need, well, I'm just recapping, 90 grams of butter. Um, I'm using unsalted butter, you don't have to do. Um, I'm just letting it sit out for a bit to like, you know. You'll need um, a mixer. Whisked, a whisk, a wear, which is right here, and you also need three medium eggs. Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is you have to take your oven, turn it on, and um, preheat it to 180 degrees or whatever you call it. So the second thing you want to do is, I'm just reading my box, just to make sure, take your medium sized bowl or any size bowl and crack your three medium eggs in there and make sure you get no um, shells in there. I accidentally got some shells, as you can see, I'm just picking them up. Um, and this will be in fast forward and um, yeah, and I'm not sure if I, did I zoom in on this? Yeah, I did. I zoomed in for you, so you could see the me cracking the eggs. Then, um, I just whisk them up afterwards. Just like mix, 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 and uh, mix it really good. And yeah, and then after I mixed it, you grab your cake batter. Well, your cake box, anyways. I just read it again. Open it with some scissors. As you can see, I'm just taking it out. And when I cut it, I didn't cut it all the way, so I had to rip it open with my strength. You don't have to cut it with scissors. You can just, like, use your muscles. That's what your muscles are good for. And it smells really good. So pour them in. Pour it in. Go on, Louisa. Pour it in. Yep. There we go. And then I had to wait. And then weigh out your butter, 90 grams of butter. And this butter is being out, but it was a little hard, so I had to cut it with a sharp knife. Oh, and put your 40 grams of um, uh, water in there, too. The batter was pretty thick as well. 
and then um, the way I wasn't on grams, it was on like when it was like 21 grams, it was 2.1 instead of 21 grams. So I had to go to my dad and fix it. So then I had to get back with you. Waiting. That's because I'm doing a voice over in the conservatory. But then I started mixing it, and it was a giant clump of butter, and it's like chocolate butter, and it was sticking to the whisk because it didn't like defrost properly. So then I had to get my handy dandy mixer out and start mixing it all up. So I tried with the whisk. I thought it would work, but then I had to shake it all off and get my mixer. And my hands were covered in chocolate. Why the oh why that is? That is because I touched the whisk. And um, so this mixing it up and that's probably all I did for this bit this scene. And I'm not sure if I did anything else. I probably did. Next step you want to do is take your butter and start greasing the pans or you can use cooking spray and cook the, just like spray it or what, what we do, what I do all the time is just get my butter and then I get two little pieces of um, parchment paper, paper and um, start like putting it in and I didn't film all of me putting it in because then the iPad died and here they are and I'm putting them in the oven and the oven is hot but it's the, it's not too hot that I, I need I mean but when I pushed it in I needed it then set your timer to 25 minutes to 30 minutes and then you can see it rising I put it at the fastest motion but it didn't really do anything I thought it would you know, rise for the cookie but you need it really quickly I might put that in extra fast forward, but then I put a title. This is as good as mine because it wasn't. It wasn't as good, and yeah, it just wasn't. There was the butter cream, but when I never used it. And then I gave another review of my mum was at the side, just going to we we taking bites of it because we weren't going to use it. So yeah, um, so yeah, that was all to make your cake. Well, uh, mine was a fail.
took the bottom out of the fridge, it was all gross, hard, it And the butter that was used in this was not good. Like it is really, it's not gross and not very good. Okay. Here we are going to serve it after two. I'm um, going to cut up and we're going to serve custard with it. That would be so good, like to serve custard with it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please. Click. Oh, and also there won't be an intro for this because um, it's kind of a different video, so there will not be an intro. Sorry. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And next time, if you want some more baking videos, bye guys.